Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another motion video. So in today's video, I was a little bored and I wanted to reorganize my island and basically make the gold production a lot better than what it is at the moment. So I hope you guys are excited. If you are, make sure you drop a like, subscribe. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started. So ladies and gentlemen, I basically make about 122 million goals every, let's just say, 8 hours or so. Whenever my habitats are fully filled with gold, I get about 122 million or let's just say 120 million uh, million golds which is actually pretty bad for the level that I am at the moment um, like I've been playing this game for so long right and my gold needs to be better although I'm not complaining at all like it's a decent amount but it could be better right now I have 32 billion golds at the moment and um, I, I know it's a lot of gold you know what I mean but I still want to improve my um, island because right now it just looks all like, like a mess right so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna definitely keep my two breedings and my hatchery here next to this because it helps out with the race but what we need to do is actually get rid of these little gold pathings and stuff like that and also we might have to move most of these monsters uh for sure yeah we're gonna have to move them over here into the monster vaults and uh basically every single one of them uh i'm gonna have to move them to monster vaults and then you know place most monsters of the same elements in one place and so on basically so right now like my thunder boosts are here so that means it's supposed to be mainly thunder monsters and as you guys can see i have magic monster in here that doesn't belong there i do have two thunders here don't get me wrong but look there's a fire monster what the heck right so we're gonna have to basically move all these monsters that don't belong here and there and um you know fix all of it because I'm, I'm pretty bored right now so this this is all that came in my mind i was like you know what let's make it let's make this video and it might actually help out some started players and stuff like that as well now hear me out i told you guys i mentioned this multiple times on my streams and stuff like that i'm not sure about my videos but my streams i told you guys that i'm not going to purchase these islands unless it comes on discount right but this one's actually 15 bucks and the thing is i made so many purchases with the google play store in here and there that they basically give you points and stuff like that and those points you can actually redeem towards you know making purchases again so i'm not sure if i have enough points to purchase this but let's go ahead and give it a try now take a look at this so this is 15 bucks right now i can go ahead and use my google play balance which is like three dollars and 26 cents right now or i can go ahead and use my points here and when you tap on points i have three thousand so take a look at this the full amount here is $15 right and I have basically 3058 points that is all together it's like 1499 basically 1500 points so this should cover it let's go ahead and apply it and it should actually work and as you guys can see all the points are applied it comes down to zero dollars with all taxes and everything so i can go on and tap and confirm and go ahead and purchase this now it's processing and it should go through there we go we basically just got this island for free if you think about it technically it is free right so yeah look at this it's shining now all right well we can go ahead and clear it it takes about 10 seconds to get rid of these gems and this big one the large gem pile will basically give me how much now i'm not going to edit this video as much because i honestly kind of miss you know doing these long gameplay videos so oh my gosh 40 gems all right so this video might be like 30 minutes long or maybe more so if you guys want more videos like this just let me know in the comments all right i kind of miss doing them this should be another 40 gems if i'm not mistaken and i'm guessing these are like 20 gems ish or something but uh oh what am i doing i can actually clear all of them at once i forgot about that now this is pretty sweet so what we're gonna go ahead and do is of course claim them so that's 10 10 and 10 10 all right so basically about 40 in total pretty sweet right all right so first thing we need to do is have some spots available in our monster vault and as you guys can see all these monsters here man they need to find a place in our islands because i'm, I'm talking only mythics by the way so as you guys can see this is actually a good amount um, i'm not going to do that right now since there's no happy hour now look if i tap on blossom here and let's just do a ranking for example look at this i have one two three four five six seven basically about seven rank fives i'm including the oh another ring four right there that i need to feed up but yeah um there's a lot of them as you can see and these could actually give me a lot of gold so that's what i'm trying to do now i have enough space there so what i'm going to do is start moving these monsters and then move this habitat here real quick i'm going to go ahead and place it here and the second step would be to figure out what element we're going to place on our main island so what i'm thinking about doing is maybe doing um maybe thunder mixed with dark i feel like those two elements would go very well together what do you guys think we could probably do, do those two i feel like that'll work well so we could do that 
All right, so thunder and dark we can do for our first island. So um, these gold pavings, we're going to have to actually store them. Now, you can always just go ahead and bring it back from your storage. Another thing is they give you this option to actually sell it, but they don't give you the full amount, of course. It's like, for example, going to GameStop, you know what I mean, and trying to sell like let's say your old ps4 or something and they give you like i don't know 30 dollars for it or something but look if i try to sell it it's 6250 when in the store it's actually pretty expensive so it's something that they do um what i would suggest is maybe placing it back in your storage and of course there are tons of them that we're gonna have to you know move up now the reason why i'm actually getting rid of all these gold pavings although it's pretty nice having it for decorations and stuff like that but the thing is it actually does take some space um it's sometimes it's hard to actually click on them because they're kind of in the back and uh, the habitat every time you try to tap on it uh, it taps on the habitat instead so it's a bit annoying but once you could get rid of them you're good to go all right and we're just gonna get rid of that part all right sweet so again i told you guys i'm gonna keep these here so we're not going to touch them and what i'm thinking about doing is actually filling up every single one of these um islands with mythic habitats only nothing else all right so we're going to get rid of all these thunder um normal thunder habitats these magic ones right fire dark you guys get the point right so it's going to be all filled up with mythics because the reason for that is i have tons of mythic in my um monster vault and they make a lot of gold they make more gold than the normal monsters and i would suggest you guys doing the same thing for those of you guys that are either starting out or it's like let's say mid game or whatever you guys get the point right so if you really need to do that i would say i would suggest to you know um just fill all your islands with like mythic habitats why did i move the dark one i didn't mean to do that because i told you guys i'm gonna do thunder and dark right so we're gonna keep the lord platypus there we have to remove this magic one um i think it would be better if we go ahead and also figure out what we're gonna do with these other islands because instead of moving them to the vault we can just move them to another island but the thing is of course you know the space you know i'll have to move these two as well uh all right that's fine we're gonna take the long route although there's a shorter route but we're not gonna take that route it's fine so it's hundred hundred dark and metal right metal doesn't belong here get out of here all right are there any thunder and dark thunder and dark nope what about you guys i thought this for a second was thunder because it's a light bulb no um yeah no thunder and oh this one's a dark yeah we could definitely move this one and we're gonna place it with i guess that um what i'm thinking about doing is actually uh doing thunder on top and then maybe dark over here i think that'll work best because thunder boosts and there's gonna be dark boosts and stuff like that i think that'd be best right so here's what we're gonna do we're going to move these for some reason it just keeps taking me to my monster vault i think uh, i know the solution to this hold on we're gonna make this a lot faster we place it right here so instead of it taking me all the way back here every time it takes me right here i can scroll back by just a little swipe all right so you guys get the point right look at that look how quick that was we just place it right there saves you that millisecond i guess um but anyways water what the heck is water doing <laughs> oh and also it saves you time with these ones too look sweet all right uh so that one's empty and we're gonna keep these empty habitats of course thunder uh thunder's gonna go with this nope yeah okay Dark is going to go back here. And we're going to keep these cosmics and stuff, of course. It doesn't matter if they're like super old. Like, for example, that one right there. Um, most of them will come back. It's just... At the moment, I need to just place... Okay, that's a dark. So two darks right there, right? That's a dark and fire. We can keep that then. Um, yeah, some monsters like those, it's, it might be an issue, no? I'm not sure. Um, can we place another mythic habitat there? I don't think we can. Maybe instead of this monster vault, if we move this, there might be a mythic habitat that could fit right here maybe not um maybe if, if i also get rid of these cold gold pavings uh this might also save me some space now i got rid of all the gold pavings i do have this friendly life battle statue and let me tell you guys this <laughs> i have 4700 stuff in my storage but let me tell you guys this all right i have so many of these freaking things in here where the heck is it so i think it's this one look at all these statues i have four vanos statues from the past wildcat statue apex there is igersis and so on these used to come during the dungeons and stuff like that a long time ago and i just have them in here um so i can maybe use these for 
you know, one of my islands as a decoration, every single one of them. It'd be cool if I maybe placed a friendly battle, friendly lives battle statue in the middle and then all around it, surrounding it with like a bunch of random stuff. Like, for example, these fungus or gold pavings, you know what I mean? Something like that. We can probably make something cool out of it. Um, and again, I'm working on my goals, but uh, there might be one of these islands where I won't even use it. So might as well do it you know what i mean um but again we are working on our gold production and also i'm pretty bored so um i, th I think we can probably do it yeah we could probably do it i think but if it doesn't work it doesn't work then all right so we're gonna go ahead and see if we can actually move this up a little or can we not okay it's fine um can we move this mythic habitat we cannot what if we do something like this nope that won't work huh all right um so there was a reason why I had those there, huh? Hmm, okay. Um, I know I have some of these other temples around here and there that we could probably place. So what I'm thinking about doing, where's my thunder one? I know I need my thunder one. Where the heck is it? Where did I place it? Am I blind? Yo, I think I'm blind. So there's a dark. We definitely need the dark one. I'll just set it right about. Oops. There we go. Whoops. There we go, okay. So the dark one's right there. We can definitely sort that out. But the thunder one? I think I'm blind, guys. Where the heck is the thunder one? No way, what the heck? Okay, I might be blind. We're gonna look for it later, it's okay. Yeah, I guess we'll look for it later. It's not very important at the moment. It's not anywhere there either. Okay, so um, what we're gonna do is... Hmm... I was thinking maybe we put this right about here, but instead it's going to be thunder because it's next to thunder monsters, just to make it cool, I guess. Um, and on top of that, we can probably keep this here and probably place a thunder one back there as well. Um, and of course I have my dark monsters, but I'm going to keep my dark monsters on this side and thunder ones on the other side. So we're going to split this island in half. Uh, the dark side is going to be on the right. And the thunder is going to be on top left, basically. Now, here's the thing. Uh, monsters that are actually maxed out, I think I'm going to pull those out from Monster Vault because, of course, they're going to make me tons of gold, right? So they're going to be the ones that actually make me, like, the most gold. I'm thinking about pulling those out of Monster Vault because, of course, why not? Um, and some of these other monsters, I know I have, like, for example, this one that's only, like, rank 2. Uh, some of the other ones that, uh, you know, won't make me as much gold i'm going to of course put them in monster vault if there aren't any space left in my island um so here's what we're going to do whoops all right so let me see we have fire nature magic nature oh my gosh this is all messed up like look at this this is so messed up man this is not good at all oh man this is gonna take a long time so i just went ahead and moved around some things here and there um i basically brought out a bunch of monsters from my monster vault and also some of these other islands that had some thunder monsters and dark monsters i basically just pulled them over here and as you used to see i got like a bunch of rank fives here and there you know that's gonna make me a lot of gold um also if i tap on dark here and let's say i go through blossom there's nobody there's doomed metro corrupted i'm not sure about cosmic oh not cosmic cider the only one left is brutalizer i'm not sure if there's actually any space left for brutalizer Ah, oh, poor Brutalizer. Alright, you're gonna have to stay in the Monster Vault then, um, for now. Uh, I'm not sure about later, but here's the thing. We might have to move this a little bit. So, Thunder Monsters are basically on that side. Uh, what I'm thinking about doing is actually moving these um, little Dark Boosts. Uh, like, I'm gonna have to spread them apart. For some reason, it's not letting me move it. What's wrong with this game? Are you kidding me? Dude, it's not letting me move it. I guess it's just stuck there. Or am I not doing it right? Am I? Oh, there we go. Okay, finally. What the heck? That took some time. But anyways, so if you put them in the middle where like all monsters are around it, it's basically going to help you... Um... Dude, I hate this thing. Come on. There we go. Oh my gosh. Alright, so if you p also spread them a little bit apart from each other, that's also going to help out a little. Uh, but it's a pain, honestly, trying to move it when it's like through a habitat because it doesn't allow you to, no matter how much you try to move it. Uh, but anyways, I guess it's just stuck in there. Um, and I guess I'll just keep that one there or just move it a little bit to the side. So basically, as you can see, these monsters are making 30%, 30% all around. Um, even these ones all the way in the back. Nope, not these ones. All right, so what we're going to have to do is actually move this habitat a little bit on the side. And we're going to move this a little more to the side. Now it should be 
30% or 20%. Okay, 20% is not that bad. Um, but these other ones are actually making uh, about 30%, which is actually not that bad. Uh, but this habitat right here, this needs to be filled up with dark monsters. So um, for now, I honestly think it's best to just move these or just keep them honestly but at the same time it doesn't really look well if i keep those there so what i'm thinking about doing is just send them to monster vaults and maybe store those mythic habitats for now until later on when um i get more dark monsters here and there uh but you know what we can also just go ahead instead of storing them we just go ahead whoops leave them right about here or I could have also left those monsters there, that would that way I would have made some gold. But it's okay, it's just a few million golds that I'm going to miss out on for some time. Uh, but yeah, so now, as you can see, it's like a bunch of dark monsters. And it looks really nice too, because all these are like rank 5s and stuff like that. Although when people visit you, they won't really see that. But when I make my videos, you know what I mean, tapping on these habitats here and there, it's just going to show a bunch of rank 5s, which is pretty sweet, you know what I mean? Like, just imagine that. That looks pretty sick, right? <laughs> um, so this one's on nature. I thought that was on dark one dark in nature it's just nature alone all right we're gonna have to move this magic one too i have a bunch of magic ones all right so yeah this monster vault i'm gonna of course move it in just a second but as you used to see there's like a bunch of gold pavings here and there what was i thinking when i placed all these oh man all right we're gonna have to remove every single one of them and as you guys see oh there's actually one more left right on there right on the side whoops can't tap on for some reason there we go so they're a little hard to get to but it's movable all right don't worry about it it's, it's movable all right so that right there was going to be a, another mythic habitat full of dark monsters and then maybe on the side i can probably place another one later on i'm not sure uh, but for now i'm just going to keep it here and later on i'm going to place it with a dark monster a bunch of darks all right so anyways now that we're good with darks we gotta worry about thunder i actually fill it up a little with uh thunder monsters that right there in the back needs to be filled up but what we need to worry about here another thing that's really important is um let me see there's no gold pavings blocking it okay what i was thinking about doing is maybe moving this habitat right about here so that we can actually get this um gold boost all the way around so that it basically helps out everybody you know what i mean all these monsters so that way it boosts up every single monsters gold and as you can see i have i mainly have like thunder monsters back here so i think it's best if i just place at least two of them in here and then the other two i can of course spread it apart with for like the other ones um so this one's making about 30 percent 30 percent 30 30 and yeah it's about 30 all of them are making 30 percent so that, that's actually a good placement so you gotta um also uh keep that in mind you know placing those little boosts you know like that, that could actually have like a huge effect um so make sure to be careful with that as you see there's still some gold pavings but there they can't really you can't really see that right yeah it's not really seeable uh, plus we don't really need that space so it's fine now i can probably fit another mythic habitat right about here um but yeah that's just basically one of my islands and that was just two elements guys that was just thunder and dark and it's not even fully filled up now i might have some more thunder monsters here i haven't actually checked Oh yeah, we have the Torvox guy that I purchased and I kind of regret, but at the time it actually helped me out with the Grandmaster, so not entirely, you know, bad. Um, place that Thunder there, Thunder, Thunder, oh, Strollem, Strollem, one of the worst, we're gonna have to place you there. And the nice thing is all these Mythic Avatars that you see are basically maxed out to level 4, so I can basically place up to 4 maximum which is that's that's basically the maximum that you can uh, place which is pretty sweet so we're done with that galvanus that i have only to rank about one or two i know i wish i max them out but i worked on some other monsters like xms elvira and much more so because of that i wasn't able to um but anyways are we done with thunder oh i can actually place another one right there but that's not gonna be thunder uh can i maybe place another mythic habitat over here instead of the monster vault so if we play that monster vault there we might be able to place another mythic habitat i'm not sure if we can that'd be pretty sweet because i do need another oh look at that it's just perfect right there look at that see you never know until you try right so we're gonna do thunder uh what was it doom nope metro we're gonna have to place these two, the Werewolf and the OG Bone, and I might have some Cosmics as well. Cosmic Thunder. I don't know if I remember any. Do I even have any? 
I have Skeletron. Oh, sweet. One of the best Resurrectors. I hope he makes me some good amount of gold. You know what I mean? <laughs> All right. So Corrupted, we're going to have to borrow you real quick or permanently. And there's one more spot there available. So I'm going to go ahead and look around to see if there's any more Thunder Monsters that we need to basically borrow and just keep there permanently. And looks like there's actually none. Um, not No Mythics, by the way. I'm talking about Mythics. I'm not talking about Legendaries and stuff. Legendaries are all over. Um, so what I'm thinking about doing is going with uh, Thunder. Nope. Cosmic. Oh, I have Urger. I guess we could go with Urger. Sure. It doesn't hurt. We can go with that for now. All right. So we're done with Hunter and Zork. Not entirely, of course. There's one habitat that's basically empty. Two habitats, actually, for both elements. And it's going to get filled up later on when I play the game a little more uh, and get more monsters of those two elements. Uh, for now, it's just going to stay like that. Um, although, I'm not sure what my Thunder um, boost says. I've been look. Oh! All right, we're gonna place it right there, I guess. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. And the dark one, you move. You come over here. Uh, oh, this is fine right here. This place right here. All right, that's cool. And <laughs> my monster vault on the other hand, I guess that could stay there for now. It's not like I can place a mythic habitat there, or can I? You never know. Let me check. Can can I place this, please? Is there enough? Ah, uh, no. Really? I was really hoping I could like place one right here, but sadly I can't. Nah, not even if I squeeze some of these stuff here and there. Okay, well, um, I guess that dark boost, where did it go? We can probably place that there, or the monster vault, it doesn't matter which one. We could leave either one. I think that looks fine. Yeah, and the thunder boost, you can stay there I guess, or on the top, it doesn't matter. Oh, it's, so it's like end-to-end? -end. That's kind of cool, I guess. <laughs> but anyways, so uh, we're basically done with these two. Um, of, of course, I could probably decorate a little more and, you know, uh, fill it up with some other stuff here and there on the sides. But we don't have to worry about decorations at the moment. What's really important here is worrying about this. So this is basically mainly for my light element, um, you know, stuff. So I think I'm going to keep them in here. It's just that I'm going to have to move one or two monsters here or a few like for example shivaraka what are you doing here you know what i mean you're gonna have to move over here and i'm gonna have to place another light there and all these other ones are light so you stay there look at these boosts like what am i thinking these other ones wait are they are they getting they're getting but it's 30 percent not 40 percent. you know what i mean and i was keeping um i think my monster vault in here too so lots of stuff just randomly around here and there and look at all these other monsters like what is this doing Oh wait, it's a dark monster. Wait, 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 wait. Don't we have space for dark monster? We do. Oh, sweet. Oh, Morgs. <laughs> Morgs. Oh boy. We're gonna have to place you there too then. <laughs> uh, all right. We're gonna have to move you guys to vault. Bye bye. All you guys. Never seen you guys again. Well, I will later on, but not right now. So bye bye. All right. So all of them went away, and I'm gonna go ahead and move this vault over here so we can actually get a better look of like what we need to do here and there so all these gold pavings of course are going to go away and again all these are mythic habitats i wonder how many i can actually fit in this island i wish it told you like the capacity and stuff like that that'd be pretty cool right and another thing that social point should probably add to their game to monster Legends, um is like you know the island layout editor that they have in like clash of clans for example they need to add that in here in this game i feel like that'll help out quite a lot you know what i mean S having to like start all over again with like islands that are just like clear that helps out a lot i feel like sp should actually like write that down and probably do that um that'd be pretty cool but i don't know if they're ever gonna do that but it'd be cool if they do you know what i mean it's not like they can get copyrighted for that or can they i'm not sure all right anyways all these gold pavings are gonna go away i might bring them back but not right now because we need to move these habitats here and there. All right. So I can't place one there, sadly. Um, if I do remove this gold paving, can I move it a little more? Maybe I can if I get rid of... Well, no, I don't think I can. It doesn't look like it. This is the, like, the max I can go back. And to the side, this is all I can do. Okay. So I can't really move it either side. Um, you, on the other hand, you can go a little over here. Oops. 
um i could probably place another one or two mythic caps that's probably two maximum so I, that's still a good amount having to like being able to actually place at least two more that's good now to save some space i move this here and then i move this there look at that see work smart not hard all right so both of these are empty i can go ahead and place them with light monsters so let's look around to see if there's any light monsters here and there oh look at this we have master Red. Master Red, instead of going to Monster Vault, we go here. Any other light monsters? Ooh, Alien. Alien, you my friend, you also go with Master Red. Do I see any other light monsters? I do not. Yeah, no, I don't. Okay. Light monsters? No. Wait, are you light? I think you're light and earth, right? Yeah. So I guess you can also go there. Do I have any other light? No. Light mythics. Any of you guys? Mm -mm. nope okay so they're definitely in my monster vault then so we go light Ooh, i just saw a ring five serpent six dude and i also saw a url url and serpent six they've been in my monster vault for ages man you guys have to come out and you guys gotta enjoy your stay in these islands man you can't be in monster vault man you don't give me any gold in there oh even elvira that's rank four and i'm currently working on rank five but it's gonna take some time guys so bear with me all right uh so these boosts and stuff like that we can definitely work on them later we don't have to move that around too much now we could just stay there i guess for now um but yeah these gold pavings and stuff like that again there's a lot of them so it's pretty annoying if you ever have decorated your islands and stuff like that it's gonna take some time like if you're trying to work on it and like rebrand the whole thing it's gonna take you some time because of all these Especially if you have like this many or probably more than me, T trust it's gonna it's gonna suck. So what I would suggest um, for you guys is to not place too much. If you're ever going to place any, just place a few, not too much. I would say, unless you're like really sure that you're never going to rebrand your islands ever again. Uh, so if that's the case, you know what I mean. Like you do you. But uh, the thing is, I don't think they're ever going to release another rarity um i doubt it i i really doubt it so i would say if you're going to rebrand and place all mythic habitats then i would suggest doing all mythic habitats on all islands and if you're going to do that then you can go ahead and place as much as you want uh, after you're like basically done with everything and you know that there's no more space that you can actually um use you know what i mean in those islands so if it comes down to that then you can place as much as you want you know what i mean um, anyways, so we got a mythic habitat here. We could probably place a few more. I wonder how many more I can do. Let me see. Uh, any? Nope, no mythic habitat there. What if we head over to our storage? I'm sure I have some here. So we go to here. Oh, I have 34 mythic habitats. Oh, they're probably from the Legends Passes. Oh my goodness, look at that. Although I have to upgrade them because they're like level 1, but still, that's crazy. Do I have any ranked up ones? I think this one's probably ranked up. It has to be. Right? Yeah, that one looks like it's upgraded. I could probably place this if I move things around here and there. No? I feel like it could actually fit. If I maybe get rid of these lights for now. So we're just going to go ahead and move them to this island right here for now. We're not going to move them too far back. Somewhere where we can actually bring them back. So... We're going to leave them there. Move this a little bit to the side. I can't move this anymore. Oh, it's because of this. See, I told you guys. This is going to be an issue. This is definitely going to be an issue. So, you move that there. Look at all these gold pavings. I couldn't even see them until I actually tried moving that. Alright, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to move this here. Oops. That's as uh, far as I could go. And then I could bring this back here come on she's not coming back no I have to bring it back again it's it's kind of buggy look it's not letting me at all is it because it's like it's on top of the islands habitats it kind of glitches look at that now it works but it's really buggy they, they, they need to fix that they really do all right um anyways so that's as far as you could go and you can go a little backwards too if I move this a little more to the side and get rid of these gold paving, this is probably why I couldn't actually place another mythic habitat there. So if I actually get rid of these here and there, 
I should be able to bring another mythic habitat in here. We might be able to. If not, then we're just going to go ahead and use this island for some other stuff. But I'm pretty positive it's because of the gold pavings. Um, that's why I couldn't actually move it there. So if I head over to my storage here again, go to the mythic habitat, bring it here. And whoops. Okay, never mind. It's not going to fit. What if I bring a level one? I wonder if that's going to make a difference. It probably will. Let me see. So if I want to try to, like, let's say I try to purchase like this mythic habitat. And I try to bring it here. It's just level one. Will it work? Nope. Not enough space, huh? What could I do? I can't even move this there. I gotta work this up, man. This is just... No, I have to bring another mythic habitat or else it's gonna hunt me forever. Okay, gold pavings, every single one of you guys are gonna go away. Alright. What if we put it right about here? Alright, what about that? And we go up that far. That's the lowest you could go or far as, okay. That's the far as you could go. Um, I'm not sure if I can actually bring another one, can I? Probably not. What if I put this to the side rig this? Uh, no, that doesn't look like it. We could use one of these as, as an example. Yeah, as you guys can see, there's just no way that that's going to work. What if I try that? Nope. So you can definitely like mess around here and there to see if you could actually place any. Okay, well that's not going to work. Okay, um, so I can actually place another one. <sighs> Is that all I could do? I really don't want to give up, but that's fine. We could probably worry about that sometimes later. Let's go ahead and bring some monsters here. So, Arnagrilla, you go there. We go back to light. Let's say doomed. Oh, I have Cupid. That's actually rank five. So worry about the rank fives first, I would say. Rank fives are really important if you have any or like the highest rank possible, worry about those first and like move those up first. Like for example, this Blimeria, you know what I mean? Um, if I have another rank four or five, we're gonna have to bring it out instead of the other ones. So that's a rank four. Do I have any rank fives? Nope, I don't. So we go with Equalaria here, rank four. Place it right there, look at that, sweet. All right, so this one I'm gonna have to rank up soon and then I can bring in more. So we're gonna go ahead and upgrade that and we're gonna worry about this later because I know this is like kind of hunting me down right now. It's probably hunting you guys down too. Um, it's a little annoying, but we're gonna worry about that later. So those are just those islands. Um, let me see. So that's just dark and thunder, right? And this was light. We could probably do a few more like, ah, let me see. So this is going to probably be my food island. I'm going to probably keep that as that. Oh, look at this. So <laughs> um, I have all these legendary monsters. I'm not going to, what's it called? Sell them, of course, because I'll need them for breedings. Why would you want to sell them? Um, so the best thing here to do would be to move them to monster vaults and restore the habitat. Put it in the vault or something. You know what I mean? Like this, for example, in storage. Make sure to collect gold, of course, so you don't miss out on that whatever amount. Uh, so in that case, it was like 67k. Now, this is full of fire monsters. I didn't want to remove all of them, put them in the storage because I was like, oh, it's all fire monsters. So might as well go ahead and save it for later and put it in that island. And as you see, it saved me a bunch of time. Now I just placed it there. So of course, I'm going to go ahead and rebrand all this with um, fire habitat. So this is going to be fire island. Uh, it might actually spread out a little so this is going to be fire as well you know what i mean maybe this one too i'm not sure but we're gonna to have to also worry about other elements as well because that's really important and if i ever have to purchase another one i'll probably purchase this one with my points of course it's gonna be free so might do that but um other than that i think i'm gonna keep it as how it is right now Ooh, look at this fire monster can i actually move this I can place it in a vault <laughs> no okay um we could probably do fire too but the thing is, um, here's what I'm thinking about doing. We move these, or hold on. These ones are not needed, right? You go to the vault. Every single one of them will go to the vault like this. Yep, and we have one more. So what I do is um, I go ahead and store this 
and move the vault over here for now so it saves me time instead of me going back and forth like that um now it actually saves me time so if i try to place these monsters in vaults as you see it's pretty quick it's gonna do it for me just like that super easy right it's only like a second for every single monster all right so that's gonna save me a lot of time um but anyways now that this is empty what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna store it get rid of all these gold pavings and next step would be to bring another mythic habitat and um basically place another mythic habitat because why not uh we're gonna sort these how many mythics can i fit in here so it's gonna be one two three four five six i think i think six right i might be wrong about this maybe five the max and last one's probably gonna be just like the fire temple that we can put replacing the fire habitat that we have right now all these monsters that i'm moving this is the one I'm talking about. So we store this. I wonder if I could actually place a mythic habitat there. I don't think it's big enough. No, I don't think so. So what I'm going to do is we're just going to copy the layout as how it actually was and just replace those with these fire monsters. I think that would probably be smart. It's going to save us a bunch of time and we don't have to worry about the gold pavings for now. We're, we're going to worry about that later. All right. So these water monsters also be careful with uh, moving these monsters if you are going to do the same thing because i almost accidentally sold one of my monsters so be careful uh i almost sold my althea rank 5 so <laughs> really gotta be careful uh so we're gonna go with these we're gonna move this magmore why are you taking me back there look there's a free spot right here close to the vault that's really annoying oh i have a rank 4 here yeah, so get worry about the high ranks first because, again, th those are the ones that gives you the most gold. Like this one, rank 5. We place it right in there. And all we have to do is just move these as well. All these legendaries, man. Too many. Now, the good thing is, now that I'm replacing it with the Mythic Habitats, all I have to worry about in the future is buying more islands. And placing, you know, those islands like other elements or whatever kind it is I'm going to do. So I'm going to see if I have another mythic habitat. I do. It's going to be this one. We could probably bring out or I could have also built a whole new one. But I think I'm going to just do this and move the monsters from here to vault like this. Oops, did I move it? Oh, it didn't let me. It's not letting me. What the heck? Oh, it's bugged so weird yeah that one was bugged it's not wait oh is it full oh <laughs> like what the heck i thought it was bugged so yeah that's weird um are you dark oh you're dark element oh go there then this one's dark too right <laughs> look it's all coming together now um so that one's full this is a water if i'm not mistaken we keep the water in the vault. We can't. Sadly, there's no space. Uh, we're going to move you to place it in there for now. It's okay. We're going to worry about that later. Uh, in this mythic habitat, I'm going to, of course, bring out some fire monsters. So if you have any fires, like, for example, we have this rank 3 sapman here. We're going to place that there. Do we have any more fire monsters? I should have Gahizol. Yeah, Gahizol's fire. We place that in there. Do we have any more fires? Uh, I do not see any more. The, okay, this island, we shouldn't look at that because those are just the dark and thunder that I did earlier. This is also dark, right? Do we have any more spots up here? Spaces? No? Oh, poor Vizil then. I might have to place it in the storage or something. In the vault. Okay. Hmm. Uh, so fire, fire, right? We have two more spots open. So if we go here, tap on this, we can bring in Mikrimi. Can we bring in one more that's ranked up? So we'll do something like this. Fire. Oh, bottom altar. Sure, we're, we're going to go with the bottom altar. Although I know I had like a higher ranked one, but it's fine. Um, so I can't sadly move these other ones just yet because vault is busy. I'll have to use the key soon and, you know, you know, unlock those and stuff like that. But for now, this is all we could really do. You know what I mean? Um, so it's not bad. Not bad of a progress. Our main island it changed by a whole lot. So it's a lot better now. Uh, be making more gold. This is the light island. Hopefully I can place another mythic habitat there. If not, then fine. Um, but other than that, you know what I mean? Everything else looks okay. I think we did pretty good this uh, video. Although it's 
going to be a long video, but I hope you guys did enjoy it. You know what I mean? I hope you learned something new. If you guys want to see part two, I might actually make a part two. And if you guys want to see that, make sure you comment down below. But anyways, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.